in the previous one I discussed definition of translation and role of tRNA structure of it as well as role of mRNA and rRNA or ribosome so this one I can say is steps of translation that is part 2 only steps in prior one I discussed all other aspects ok now steps prior to translation what happens before the actual stages of translation first one is charging char charging of tRNA or amino acylation what is that during this step amino acid comes and attaches at 3 prime hydroxyl 3 prime hydroxyl that is OH end of tRNA this requires energy and that energy is provided by and is provided by ATP in simple words binding of amino acid one amino acid at amino acid acceptor arm at the 3 prime OH end of tRNA requires energy that is provided by ADP and this step is called amino acylation or charging of tRNA next step prior to the actual stages of translation what happens in case of inactive ribosome there are two subunits small and large inactive ribosome have two subunits one small and one large to the small subunit mRNA RNA comes and binds prior to the actual stages of translation this activates ribosome and large subunit has two attachment sites for amino acids carried by tRNA now coming to stages of translation translation occurs in three main stages three stages those are first one is initiation that is starting initiation second one elongation second step that is and third step is that's the final step that is termination now let's discuss about each step first step what I told that prior to initiation this happens with the inactive uh, ribosome 
with the small subunit mRNA attaches itself. After this what happens an amino acylation also done. Now what happens during initiation? During initiation initiated tRNA comes and binds with a specific sequence of mRNA that is AUG sequence. So I repeat and AUG also codes for methionine. So tRNA initiator this also explained initiated tRNA also explained in the prior discussion okay initiated tRNA comes and binds with start codon that is AUG start codon of mRNA. So mRNA has the codons that is the basis which are complementary. So tRNA carrying complementary basis present in anticodon arm that is this part this part just a moment just a moment I repeat initiated tRNA carrying the anticodon mm, comes and binds with the start codon that is AUG of mRNA this is the anticodon arm of tRNA and these collectively three bases collectively is called codon of mRNA. So codon is present in mRNA and anticodon is, uh, is present in tRNA. So I repeat during initiation initiated tRNA comes and binds with the start codon that is AUG of mRNA and attaches first and starts the process of translation. Now coming to elongation. What happens during this, ten, this stage? One by one tRNA comes and attaches with mRNA according to the complementarity according to the complementarity complementarity and keeps on adding amino acids which is carried by tRNA one by one to the growing polypeptide chain. As you can see here this is the first amino acid amino acid sorry this one is tRNA1 sorry it's actually opposite this is tRNA1 then tRNA2 this one is tRNA3 one by one it is coming one by one tRNA and one by one attaching um, amino acids so this is individually these are the amino acids they form peptide bond that is chemical bond and that results into growing polypeptide okay now coming to the next step or the final step 
last step when just a moment so coming to termination when tRNA comes in contact with any of the stop codons so stop just a moment when tRNA comes in contact with any of the stop codons present in mRNA then the process of translation ends or finished so termination is when just a moment tRNA comes in contact with any of the three stop codons in mRNA translation stops so termination is basically the process of stopping translation now what is a peptide bond peptide bond is a chemical bond formed between amino group that is NH3 amino group of one amino acid and carboxyl group of another amino acid carboxyl group is COOH so carboxyl glue group let me write down its COOH formation of peptide bond requires energy so I repeat peptide bond is a chemical bond formed between amino group that is NH3 of one amino acid and carboxyl group that is COH of another adjacent amino acid this requires energy which is provided by ATP now what is polypeptide polypeptide is a polymer of amino acids so when many amino acids are joined together by many peptide bonds it is called polypeptide many peptide bonds the structure is called polypeptide now coming to translational units it is present in mRNA now parts of translational units parts of translational units so what are the parts first one is first part is initiation codon that is AUG codes for methionine that is one amino acid then stop codon
actually there are three stops or ends the process ends translation now the third part is in between there are many codons and one more part is untranslated region untranslated region short form is written as UTS present prior and after initiation initiation codon and stop codons these base these base sequences are not translated during protein synthesis okay these utr regions are present before the 3 prime end that is before the initiation codon and at the 5 prime end after the stop codons now one more point I want to add along with that during termination one release factor attaches with the ribosome sorry just a moment as I was saying during termination one release factor during termination one release factor attaches with the mRNA or with the terminator or stop codon with the stop codons of mRNA and translation ends after that uh, complete polypeptide chain complete polypeptide chain is released is released from ribosome as well as mRNA is also released as well as mRNA is also released.